Hello, I'm Rick Barclay and I'm with Piano Clubhouse and today we're going to learn another film uh, piece that was uh, from the uh, hit movie Ghostbusters back in the 1980s. This was 1984. Uh, words of music are by Ray Parker Jr. and this was the theme song, if you will, from Ghostbusters and this is one of the first uh, quasi type rap songs that I remember coming to existence. It was kind of a combination of uh, singing and some uh, early forms of rap, so to speak. Um, so you're going to hear some very re repetitious type patterns happening with the keyboard part. And um, so let's just dive right on in. It's in the key of E. E major is this. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. Okay. Um, now it doesn't start on E like you would think, but there is a basically a brief little introduction that uh, gets us into the whole groove of the thing and basically kind of giving us a spooky type feel with the, the whole theme of the Ghostbusters um, aspect of the movie. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So this is where we're going to start. Very creepy type of feel because these, get, these notes are going to be basically half steps from one another. So the right hand is going to be do, toggling back and forth between A and B flat. Now if you want to cut A sharp you can, but um, either one, it's an inharmonic, what we call inharmonic note, where it's the same pitch but two, multiple names. So we're just basically just doing eighth notes back and forth with this. And this is in 4-4. Four, four. Um, it starts off soft and then it's going to build up in intensity to our, once we get into our groove. Um, and you want to use the, the whole pedal. Uh, I know sometimes in my lessons I don't, don't talk too much about the whole pedal, but we're definitely going to use the sustain pedal at the front of this, and then uh, we'll release it when we get into the groove. Okay, so in your left hand you're going to have octaves happening, and these are Bs. So, so one and two and, then you're going to move up to G. See how it's, you know, again, it's still giving us a mysterious type feel. Then it's going to be an F sharp for two counts, F natural to E's, now to B, a D, excuse me, and then to B flat. And then you do two full measures of that, and then it increases in intensity. If you want to build up with that, you can, and then it gets into the whole groove of the thing. So let me go back and kind of play it somewhat up to tempo. Two, three, four. F sharps down F. B flat. Okay, and now we're ready for the main groove of this whole piece. It's basically a two bar loop or phrase that gets repeated numerous times throughout the whole thing. And uh, sometimes it does a little bit of variations according to the chord where we're going to place it in our right hand. So let's look at the bass part because it's what is, really drives this whole thing. And uh, it's based off of uh, basically a B major minor-esque type of uh, scale with a, going into a, a seventh tone from that uh, chord. So what it is is this. Okay, so that's B's twice, and then D, D sharp, F sharp, that's on count two, then on count three you have two A's, count four, two E's, so it's one and two E and three and four and one and two E and three and four and. Now your right hand is going to be basically comping some chord uh, rhythms. The main thrust of the whole thing is this. It's F sharp and B. So it's one and two and, and on count three it does C sharp E A and then count four it's B E G sharp. So it's an A triad E triad. So B basically B triad. Now on count three it's A and it repeats that again. there on the 
fourth time through it, it went three and four instead of just three, four. Same rhythm, I mean, same notes, just uh, one more note, uh, rhythm, rhythmically speaking. Okay, uh, so. Okay, now we're going to get into the main little melodic hook that was instrumental throughout the most the majority of this piece. And while it's still doing this basic bass groove, and the right hand you're going to be doing the melody, and it's B's, and then D sharp, back to B. C sharp, A, and the rhythm is one, and a two, and three, and, and you're going to be jumping off of those notes, those are staccatos.